Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to take a look at my guy, potentially the best icon center back and it goes by the name of Rio Ferdinand. chat <clears throat> sorry for your ears but today we're gonna take a look at the icon moments Rio Ferdinand who just dropped man it's it's been like five or six days since he came out and he got only plus one which is uh, I mean it would be nice if he got the 92 rated because Rio Ferdinand is one of the most OP center backs in the game and uh, it will be nice him to get like a 92 and Imagine this card having like 87 pace with 90 physical and 70 dribbling. So he is already cracked. He will be, I don't know if there's a word more cracked. I mean, he will be more cracked. Anyways, so today we're going to take a look at Rigo Ferdinand. He's a medium medium, but I don't know. I don't actually know how that, that does work, but it is what it is. Medium, medium, three star, three star. It's great for a center back. Now pace, amazing, 85. Dribbling actually it's very good like with that 94 composure and 62 agility with 60 balance It's not bad, but in years in this year's meta every center back has already like 85 agility with 90 balance so I, I don't I want to see how Rio will shift that and have a competition with let's say Ruben Diaz team of the year or Marquinhos team of the year who all, already has like 90 dribbling now, the defending and physical part are excellent with 93 interceptions and every single category is above 92 and with the physical part is 90 strength and 88 aggression. So the defending, physical and pace are great, amazing and the dribbling is actually good. Uh, and that's the card, he's going for 1.5 million coins but as I said, it's just been like 5 or 6 days since it came out give this card to three weeks or even a month and he will go I'll say for like a 1 million coins this year's market is so cheap that it's crazy how cheap those cards are now for me 1.5 million coins is very expensive but as I said it's been just like five or six days so I, it depends whenever you're watching this and it made this card go to 900k 800k and at that price this will be uh, you know this will be uh very pretty uh, good price. So I just want to compare you uh, and I want to show you uh, Rio Ferdinand with the other cards. So if we take a look at, let, let's say, let's say uh, Ruben Dias. Ruben Dias, I want to see the difference in the dribbling part. Now Ruben Dias has, let's say, two more pace. And yeah, that's the difference, man. Like approximately 15 or 14 more dribbling so you can see the difference man 72 agility with 70 balance and uh ruben this is 187 centimeters and Rio friend i want to see 189 so they're both the same height but uh ruben diaz has like better agility and balance and that will convert him to turn uh, faster in game if you will do a mistake you will convert it faster and actually ruben dish is going for 500k less another card i want to see is marquinhos his team of the year version and this card is the same price yeah it's the same price as Rio ferdinand but this card look at that man has 81 agility with 80 balance but actually f marquinhos for that for a performance yesterday i mean you watched how uh, they got they lost to real madrid shout out to real madrid fans boys you you guys are awesome man so uh but marquinhos i will say that every single stat is better than Rio Ferdinand and they're going for the same price uh, so that's it boys we're gonna take a look in game if this card is actually good or not and without further ado let's jump into the review let's go okay let's go okay guys so with Rio Ferdinand I think I'm gonna say from right now that Rio Ferdinand is a class card he is a very very good option in the center back and for me, my play style, I'm an aggressive defender. So I take my mid, I, my defender and push it forward. I, I grab him, go forward, and it's all or nothing, you know? But you guys maybe take your CDMs, use them, maybe grab your cams, put them back. But me, I'm an aggressive center back user. So I just grab my player and run. 
And what I want from my players is to have high uh, defending efficiency with high uh, physical to push the ball for, uh, away and to have a good dribbling so you can turn around when you make a mistake. And for me, I found that with Rio Ferdinand. He's very, very OP in that category, which makes him a very, very good and unique card. And what's unique with this card is that he is an icon. And what that tells you is that icons this year, and I felt that, have some unique traits that you cannot notice. So what's the difference between Rio Ferdinand and let's say a foot birthday timber or whatever card who has the same stats, I mean, a same stats guy goes for let's say 20 30k and Rio Ferdinand goes for uh, 1.5 million coins. The difference is that they have a special trait, they have a special trait in tackling physicality, which takes the icons in a much higher uh, space, you know. So, I think Rio Ferdinand is a very, very good option, and I think he is let's say top two or top three icons if you want to use. I mean, first I will say Prime Icon Maldini, Prime Icon Moments Maldini, then it's maybe Rio Ferdinand alongside with Desai. So I think Rio Ferdinand, if the SBC comes around or if you pack him, it's a GG man. It's a very, very good GG because he's very fast, very agile, I would say, despite having 68 agility or whatever. But I think this card is very, very good, very good option. And I think he will perform uh, like amazing in game. I don't think he's the best center back in overall. I will say, as I said, Marquinhos for me is better and Ruben Diaz are better, but I think this card is like top five or top six center back in the game. So that's it guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure to check out this card. I will give him a solid nine out of 10 and I will see you on another video, man. Peace.